People were grabbing it like they were giving it away. <laughs> oh, hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I'm showing you the best Costco Christmas gifts you can find in the store. Number one, Bloom Maker. Tell me the truth, don't lie to yourself. Have you ever seen anything like this at Sam's, Walmart, Target? No, Costco. These were getting bought up like this. The dangerous thing about Costco is FOMO. I told you the secret. They play off FOMO. People were grabbing it like they were giving it away. These were three little plants for $19.99 and people were fighting, punching each other in the face. Well, <laughs> they weren't. <laughs> I exaggerate a little bit because I needed one because the girl was trying to feed me some FOMO. She said, oh, these are sold out everywhere. They're even sold out online. I can't believe I found some. And that's when I'm like, mom, you need to. Everybody run to Costco. I got sucked into the FOMO. You know what these will do? They will bloom inside of this little wax thing. This is how they come in this little wax vase. And guess what? No maintenance, no nothing. You don't even need to water them. Everything it needs is already in the little wax. It's gonna take four to six weeks for you to see the little plant. So once they get to this stage, you can expect a bloom in three to four weeks. When I first got them, they were like just a little bit peeking out. And I've had them for two days and look how fast they're growing. So follow me on Instagram if you want to watch my beautiful flowers bloom into a beautiful bouquet. <gasps> Let me know in the comments down below if you just got FOMO like I did. You don't do nothing. This is no work. Once they die, that's it. I'm done. I can't re every year. No. Look. Tell me this is not a good deal for 20 bucks. Oh, if you get some, or if you got some, let me know in the comments down below. Send me a picture on Instagram, because I need to know. Look at this. It is beautiful wax. Look at the bottom. They feel so nice. And the packaging said, all the nutrition, water, everything is already in here. I love it. The quality, A+. plus. They do look like an onion, though. So it might not match your, you know, farmhouse. I'm so over the farmhouse. With the gather signs and believe signs. Let's stop. Let's retire that. 2022, we're gonna go into the onion decor. <laughs> I'm gonna give these guys 20 Vivian heads. You already know. Five is what I do. But 20 means it's extra special. Number two. Christmas beer keg. The cuteness alone makes this a genius gift. If you have a friend who drinks a lot of beer, Christmas party, tell me this is not out of the box. You are adorable. Who brought the baby keg? I've never had beer out of a keg, so I'm a little nervous about it, but I had to get it. $17.99, that's pretty good, right? 1.32 gallons of beer. When I was grabbing it, the guy, you see the FOMO? <laughs> The dude standing next to me was like, hey, hottie, I'm grabbing two. <laughs> he grabbed two of these and he says, oh, this beer is delicious. And he grabbed two. So I'm like, <laughs> here we are with a damn baby keg. I don't know how to do this. There are instructions there at the top. Listen, if you walk into a Christmas party and you don't have the traditional bottle of wine in your hand, you're bringing in a keg. Tell me they ain't going to be impressed. Tell me they're not going to be like, damn, these people are quirky and cute. They are. You're thinking outside the box because of Costco. For the best pour, consider consuming within 24 to 48 hours of opening it. That's a shame because I'm probably just going to take a sip and then the neighbors are going to get a mini keg. So I'm going to drop it off over there and be like, hey guys, Merry Christmas. It's good. I already tasted it. <laughs> Step one, turn tab to horizontal position. Two, pull out the tab until it stops. Three, press button to dispense. That's it. I thought I had to stand on my hands and do that and then have it. I've just seen that in movies. I don't even drink. The top is just an air release. You can lift and then just turn it. This has been in the fridge for like a week almost. I need something to prop it up, right? Because I have to get the bottle under here, don't I? I found this. That'll work, right? It's like one of those things to lift a bed. It's a lifter, it's a stepper, who cares? Look at this, genius. For the Christmas party, you just decorate the stand. Could you imagine if you had a whole bunch of these for your pretend friends? For yourself, be like, fuck it. Okay, look at it, so cute. Oh, that stand is everything. Okay, nothing can pop or nothing, right? There's no warnings. Horizontal, turn. Easy. Pull this little thing out until it stops. Got it. Okay, when I'm done, after my little sip, my little shot of beer, can I put it back? No, you have to stay like this. Let me see. No, I'm, I don't want to mess with it. Just leave it alone. Just, it's out, baby. Okay, where's the hole? Look at my bar. Everything clean? Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. I think for beer, you should fill it up to the top, right? I want it to have the bubbles and everything. Oh, yes, ma'am. 
Look at my beer. Oh, this is when you let the air flow. <gasps> Look at that. That's a lot of both. It smells delicious. Okay, now because the flow is kind of gone, you turn it just a little bit to let some air in. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. That's good. Don't close it back. <gasps> don't touch my bar stuff. Can I taste it like this? I love that beer mustache. You know when guys drink beer and they have a... <laughs> and then they have the little... Aww. <laughs> I don't know how to speak English. <laughs> I don't think I said any words in that part of the video. And I haven't even had a sip. It smells good, malty. I smell malta. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments down below. I wanna know if I can put it back. I don't think you can, because I feel like you're putting pressure back in. One, two, three, go. Hmm. Do you see my beer? Mustache. Listen, I only got crema. <laughs> like the Nespresso. I just got the, the, what is this called? Foam. That's all I got there. How do I do this? Do I need to wait? Guys don't wait at the bar or girls. I say guys, like only guys drink beer. What the hell? Let me tell you this. I only drink when I have something nice to drink in a video. $17.99, you have 24 to 48 hours to drink all of this beer. That's a lot. So if you can't commit, give it out as a gift. It's a gift idea too. Teachers, pastors, nuns. <laughs> we can all enjoy a little beer in our life in a cute little baby keg. So I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. Number three. Another item that I saw that I thought beautiful, they had three LED light spheres. They were beautiful. This is a gift for yourself. I mean, you can gift them to other people, but I'm just saying they're gonna look beautiful in your house. And I was even thinking like over the front door, isn't that pretty? LED, beautiful little white balls hanging anywhere in the house. I thought these were a good find. And if you see them in real life, you're gonna love them. And for the price, they weren't too bad. Now you're only getting three. They're gonna last you year after year. This was another one. I didn't pick any up, but when I saw them, I thought if I just didn't have so many damn decorations already, I'd have totally picked those up. Maybe next year, maybe not because they might be gone. Go look for them though. Number four. Bake at home sourdough bread. You can bake them at home to finish it off. Tell me this is not an amazing idea. A gift for grandma, the church ladies. Who doesn't want a nice warm loaf of bread? I was gonna say give this whole thing away, but you make somebody a fresh warm. When the mailman comes, you hand him a warm loaf of bread. <laughs> he's gonna think you're weird. And he's gonna say, no, there's a fungalitis, ma'am. Or give him the whole thing. This is a present too, look at this. Shelf stable packaging. They're air sealed in there. Look how cool this is. Three loaves of bread. Bake before eating three ways that they're telling you to uh, bake them. Bake them in the oven, 425 degrees from 12 to 15 minutes in a snap or until the center is soft and hot to the touch. Remove from the oven and serve warm. Cut into slices and put them in the toaster, two to four minutes or grill it. How long will these last? So right now it is November. This will last till May. I was gonna say for the doomsday box. Preheat the grill to medium to high, wrap in foil, grill for 12 to 15 minutes or until it is soft in the middle and hot to the touch. Organic, non-GMO verified, no preservatives, no need to freeze. I'm not hating on Sam's, but I ain't seen this over there. See if we can divide this up into three gifts. If it's a really special person, they get three loaves of bread. They get the whole gift. And all the instructions are right there in the back too. I know it's a weird gift. People have too many rules in life. Cause I'm thinking this can be a gift, why not? Who's that? Whose rule book are y'all even by? Some people say you can't give appliances or cleaning gadgets. Are you crazy? Give me a Dyson. You think I'm gonna get mad at that? You think I'm gonna get mad at that? Test it, send me a Dyson vacuum. So give whatever gift you can give. And if you find a loaf of bread and you wanna heat it up and make it nice and warm and hand it to the neighbor as a present, Feliz Navidad. There it is. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought it was on fire. It smells like heavenly sourdough bread. That's what it is. Vivian. Oh, you see it's nice and golden brown now. Couldn't find my big bread knife. Somebody must have borrowed it and didn't give it back. Ooh, I may have overcooked it. Oh no. Oh no. It is crispy on the outside. The inside is soft. Oh, do you see the steam coming out of that? Look at this. Oh, guaranteed you're getting some. Let him bake you some warm bread, put some butter on it while you're watching Netflix. Then it's about to be chill time. <laughs> oh, the, 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 the is hot. Now my lover heard me and he brought me some butter. 
So we're gonna put some butter on there and girl, Netflix and chill time. <laughs> yes it is, ma'am. <gasps> Heavenly, you get three. What's their name? Essentials Bacon Company. So I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. Number five. Junior's Famous Cheesecakes. I've never had Junior's, but I have heard of them. So this has to be an entire gift, but for $20, you're getting 24 little cheesecakes. The world's most famous cheesecake. Not Cheesecake Factory, hell no, sit down. Junior's, Brooklyn, New York. And they come in three flavors. You're gonna get strawberry, just plain, and then chocolate. Ready? One, two, three, go. It's a whole tray. You're gonna look cheap if you try to break this up. How cute is this? Definitely for a Christmas party. This is gonna work. Each little cake is 1.5 ounces. You're gonna get eight of the original, eight of the strawberry swirl, and eight of the chocolate. Our name and reputation is on the line with every cheesecake. If Junior's is not the best, most fabulous cheesecake you've ever sunk your teeth into, we will fully refund your money. Oh, they're beautiful. They know what they're doing. Look how beautiful those are. Presentation is there. Let's take one of each out. Look how cute that is. If you don't finish all this during your Netflix binge, just put them back. You can refreeze them. I don't know why I love the packaging. I think the orange and the stripes, it feels very authentic, very nostalgic to me. Look. Uh, so far I'm loving everything. Oh yes, ma'am. Look at the inside of these guys. Oh, the strawberry. So I'm gonna try the chocolate first. The chocolate looks delicious as well. Mm-mm, they win. Clean the palate. The amount of cheesecake to strawberry, it's a beautiful thing. Let me not hate on Cheesecake Factory. Their cheesecakes are good, but this is delicious, okay? And portion control. For less than a dollar for each of the little cheesecakes, I think you should totally give these a try. I don't know if they're a permanent item or they're just in for Christmas, but please go stop and buy some of these because you're not gonna regret it and they're guaranteed. So I'm gonna give the Juniors mini cheesecakes five Vivian heads. Number six. Waffle cookies with caramel. Heavenly, you guys. Look at this giant box of these. If you've never had these, they're so Freaking delicious for grandma with her coffee in the morning. And they're gonna get a thousand cookies. They're a product of Holland. So you know it's the real deal. <gasps> oh, they come packed. Oh, you can divide this up. This is 12 gifts in one. Look at this. If you wanna make like a little gift basket, a Holland themed gift basket. I love how they're individually packed. I thought it was gonna be one big box. You got four gifts out of this. Put two things together, three things together, one thing together, depending on who they are. And you got some really quality gifts at a good price point. So you can give everybody something. The trick to eating these guys or softening them up is to put them over coffee or something warm, maybe hot cocoa, for two minutes. And they're gonna get nice and chewy. When are we gonna start eating right? I don't know because, oh, Costco got me eating all kinds of shit. See, put them over your coffee cup. There's your coffee cup. You put them like this for two minutes. Mm. Quality is A plus. And even if you don't warm them up with your hot drink, throw them in the purse. You can eat them like this. They're still A plus. Costco, you're hitting it out of the park. At least for me, I just discovered y'all, I'm a rookie still, but I'm so impressed. So I'm gonna give these guys 20. Five out of five. Number seven. Another little self gift that you're gonna gift yourself or gift your household or gift your husband. That way you can still use it, you know what I'm saying? These beautiful hand soaps for the bathroom and for the kitchen and all over the place. Beautiful, like they have this vintage paper Santa Claus decorations and the flavors that it came in. I'm gonna say flavors, cause I like saying flavors, but you know what I mean? You don't eat soap, fool. Smell it. Why am I getting angry? Because I'm used to saying flavors and people always say it's not a flavor. It's perfumey, okay. That's not even a word. Nobody cares that much, Karen. When I say flavor, you guys are smart enough to figure out if it's edible or not. You know what I mean? Anyway, these hand soaps, so cute. And for the price, are you kidding me? How much is hand soap at Bath and Body Works? Don't get suckered over there when they do those stupid little promotions, annual sale. $9.99 for four at Costco. That's about 
about 250 per little, not little, cause they were like that big of soap. That was another good find for yourself. The bathroom is gonna look so cute when company sees the picture <laughs> on the internet. If you're like me and you just fantasize about people coming over, but there's no way in hell you're inviting them over, let me know in the comments down below because that's the kind of friends I want in my life. <laughs> Number eight, David's Cookies. The Butter Pecan Melt Aways. I believe David's Cookies are kind of famous, aren't they? They've been around since 1979, so they're obviously famous. And another cool thing that I love about Costco, hashtag not sponsored, but I'm bragging too much about them. Like I know somebody that lives over there. I don't know any executives. I don't own any stock, nothing. There is no connection between me and Costco, but I am gonna brag because the shit they got is good. This is one of those like, three, four dollars off. All the teachers could get their own tin. And then it's multi-purpose because after the cookies are gone, this is a great for your sewing supplies, DVDs, <laughs> medicine, all kinds of things, knickknacks, random shit you don't know where to put. Get the gold spray paint. We're gonna make this a fucking centerpiece. Peppermints, balls, like Christmas decor. Just pretty Christmas stuff, that's all. I don't have to say all the words. Butter pecan melt away. Melt in your mouth cookies. Who doesn't want something to melt in their mouth like that? Butter pecans. All day. Get a gazillion cookies. Oh, I can already feel like they're melting in my fingers. They look very buttery, very pecan-y, and very powdered sugary. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, this is an amazing gift for your cousins that you only see once a year. Another home run. Look at me drinking all this beer. I don't even drink beer. Are you impressed? Mini keg, go get it. So I'm gonna give these guys five. Vivian heads, 10 by five. Number nine. I don't know if y'all think this is a gift. I thought the bottle was beautiful. The olive oil in the baby blue bottle. Maybe you're making a gift basket. A little olive oil with a beautiful bottle. I don't know. When I saw them, I thought, what a pretty gift. In addition to another gift or basket or something. Number 10. The nativity statue figurine things. The video doesn't even do it justice. Now, I don't know where I would put such a setup in my house, but if you can find a spot for this, maybe in the living room, on the coffee table, I don't know where you would put this, but it's so pretty. It was beautiful. The quality was absolutely there. 